Hi there, my name is Kakiria. I'm here to give you a quick tutorial on the Bartender 4 add-on for World of Warcraft. Uh, Bartender is a, an action bar replacement that will replace your default action bars on the bottom and right side of your World of Warcraft screen. Uh, one of the things that I recommend people do to begin with is to enable all of their regular five bars and then you put all of your usual spells on those five bars. That way, if you're ever on a computer that you uh, don't have Bartender installed on or uh, have to, for some reason, uninstall it, you can at least still play the game without too much interruption. So, once I've got that done, I'm going to log out, re-enable my... or enable the Bartender 4 add-on, and log back in. So now you can see I've got the bars set up here at the bottom already. I'm going to enter the configuration using the slash bar command. And you can see here that uh, I have a bunch of options. I'm going to reset the profile just to see what you're going to likely encounter uh, to begin with. Uh, it's a little haphazard and clumped here in the middle, so it doesn't look all that pretty yet. But what we can do is we can unlock the bars and we can move them into whatever position we want. So I'm just going to drag all these to the bottom. You can position them and place them wherever you want. Uh, bar 5 and 6, I don't really have any need for, so I'm going to go into the configuration and disable those two bars. That way I don't have to deal with them, and they're not going to get in my way mid-fight or at other inconvenient times. Micro menu, I usually hide that, but we'll get into that in a second. Pet bar, as well, I don't have my input. Let me pull that out. And now I can relock things. And let me see if I can pull up my imp. Where did it go? In any case, um, there's my fail guard. This will do just well. So here you can see I have my fail guard and my pet bar as well. You can treat the pet bar just like you would any other time. If we go back into the configuration, another thing that I can do, let's say that I'll take bar 4 just for demonstration. Let's say that I wanted to keep bar 4 over on the right hand side and I wanted to make it vertical. I take the number of rows and increase that to 12. And now I have a vertical bar and I can snap that to the edge here. And I can do the same thing with bar 3. And I'll drag this and place it right up next to that guy. So here I have my two right side bars again if you like that kind of layout. Another thing that you can do is, if you wanted to have a block of some sort, instead of an actual set of rows, you can set it to three rows, or four, or six, or two, however much you want. On top of that, I can adjust the scale of this bar, make it smaller or larger, which sometimes, if you don't need the bar fully in your way at all times, then you can adjust the scale of that. We're going to put this back to default. And as you can see, we can have these, they'll automatically snap to each other's positions. Uh, one of the other things that's kind of nice is that if you want to line things up perfectly, you can go center horizontally, and then you can start adjusting the position in increments of one pixel at a time. And then you can reset the position if you wanted to, if you screwed it up, or you for some reason managed to put this thing way off screen. So. Visibility is another nice thing that uh, that you can use. I'm going to demonstrate that actually on the experience bar, since this character is level 60, and I still want to look at how much experience I have. So I'm going to lock these bars again, just because they're in a position that I want. So you can see here I've got my experience bar, and if we go into the visibility tab, I can make it so that it fades out whenever I'm not hovering over it. So I can see how much experience I have. I'm just over halfway through level 60. And then when I hover off of it, it fades out and is not visible. And I can decrease that alpha all the way to zero, so it's fully invisible. Another thing that I can do is I can actually hide it in combat so that even if I'm in combat and I hover over here, it won't show up. And that's useful for uh, some other bars that you only need, say, for either your professions or your mounts or something like that so that you don't need or don't want to, to have in your way when you're in combat. Uh, alternatively, you can also say hide out of combat, so there's something that will only show up when you're actually in combat. Um, that's another option there. Uh, as you can see, there's a whole bunch of other options. Um, one of the nice things about this also is that you can skin the entire interface using another add-on called Button Facade, and it will let you 
find different skins for these buttons that have slightly different textures and borders and whatnot. And just makes it more to your liking if you feel like doing that. I hope that y this tutorial came in handy for you guys to customize your own uh, action bars. If you have any questions, feel free to post them in the forums, and I will be glad to help out as I can. Thanks for watching.